Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Arc Podcast here with number 428. My name is Coach MT, and I'm here live today with Mr. Brett Nordine. Atlas is going to a concert today, so he's running a little bit behind. He's still listening in, so if you do have any any burning questions you want to ask him, now might be a bad time, but maybe you might be able to get an answer. Uh, today is Thursday, March 21st. It is raining for me a little bit here in the Okanagan in Canada, but we had a nice week. Sun was shining. I was out there with the shirt off, 18 degrees for me. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it was super warm. And I've, I've seen the crypto market has been doing some crazy things too. It, it was heating up for, for quite a while there, but we did see a lot of people taking profits. There was like 20% up on the week and then I think 15% dumps on like the day or the week too for a lot of the BTC, ETH, and a lot of the altcoins. So if you're out there, if you're, you're holding some of these big bags, if you've been uh, you know investing in before the bull run, and you're right now and you're in that profit margin, I would definitely make sure you know, you're know you paying yourselves. You can DCA in, but it's also good to DCA out, right? You can you don't have to sell your whole bag, you don't have to dump, but it's always good to take some profits. It's always good to skim on the top, especially when we see all-time highs on Bitcoin. I think it reached an all-time high, or it might have been really close. So definitely keep an eye out there. Don't want to get wrecked in the uh, price manipulation. There's be- definitely been some crazy things. I think there was some news about um, BlackRock pumping the market uh, in the last 24 hours or so. Could be wrong, but uh, do make sure to take some profits. And if you are looking to spend your crypto the right way, anonymously, definitely make sure you take advantage of that air card. We have no KYC. Go spend your crypto out there anonymously. And uh, yeah, it even makes like a really good gift. So if you're looking to you know, pay some bills back to some people, you owe some money, or hey, maybe you just want to give them a nice Christmas, or not not Christmas, Christmas come Christmas in July, Christmas in June, half Christmas, or maybe a nice birthday present. Definitely get them an air card, show them the power of crypto, and uh, maybe it's even a good way to get them introduced and say, hey, like look at this. You always been wondering. I know my dad. He's a uh, he's very skeptical. He's like, okay, well, yeah, you can buy Bitcoin, but you know, how do you get into real money? How do you turn it into your bank account, and how do you actually spend it? And this is a perfect way to kind of introduce those kind of people into the crypto world. So yeah, do make sure to uh, utilize our bridge too. Um, we do have that crypto bridge. If you're looking to move some funds around different chains, you're getting into some crazy, crazy tokens. I know there's a lot of stuff launching. Uh, definitely utilize our bridge. It does help um, pay the project. It also helps you know pay everyone, all the legacy NFT holders. Percentage of all those profits do go back to those legacy NFT holders. Um, but also, I do want to do a shout out to, um, not a shout out, but just an announcement that the Terra card maintenance is completed now. I know it was uh, pushed back for about a week or two. Uh, they, everyone was able to still spend their crypto on the card, but the, the reloads were turned off for a bit. But we're back online. Everyone's able to you know, deposit their crypto into their cards, go out there, you know, pull, their, pull their crypto out into the ATM with the Terra card. Not the air, unfortunately, but get out there, spend your crypto, and uh, yeah, definitely get that financial freedom. Um, one last thing, I think that's I think that's it on my end. I do know that people want to hear more about all the updates regarding ArcNet. Uh, Alice was just saying that with the regarding Quant, we're still in uh, TBA. We're still in to be announced for the uh, the the true start date of the Quant. So just Hold tight. Really, we're we've all signed up to you know wait the ten months out for the 10x. So really, you're you're locked in for ten months regardless, and uh, we'll be live sooner than later. So I'll turn it over to you, Brett, for the Arcnet updates. Hope you're doing well, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, good updates on the AirCard and TerraCard. Uh, been getting some DMs now. People are starting to cash out a little, and uh, looking around for a way to off ramp. <laughs> Uh, figuring out that uh, Revolut and a lot of the European solutions I know have reporting requirements now, and they're a little worried about, you know, the knock on the door or at least, you know, some kind of level of reporting and looking for that no KYC, you know, off ramp. And uh, that type of solution is, I think, very fitting for this market. And uh, we're going to start seeing people take profits. People that were in the bear market have been holding for months now, looking to you know, hey, maybe, you know, maybe we're going to see some volatility for the next two, three months. Maybe it's a good time to take, um, you know, a portion of their portfolio, cash it out, 
and go ahead and spend that in the real world. So yeah, great options and alternatives. Sorry, just to add to that, I just want to say there's been a lot of people that uh, have actually come to Terra because you know their old crypto card or their old way of off ramping. A lot of people have been saying, "Man, it takes me like 72 hours just to load my card on on this program, or even more. Like it takes me a week to load my card on this. You know, with the Terra card, it's like 30 seconds. It's instantly. So that's definitely a huge plus for a lot of people looking to get that instant gratification." Yep. Absolutely. Great point. Yeah. I've had those questions too. Like, you know, how long does it take to uh, be able to use the funds? And, you know, it's immediate, um, especially with the air card, obviously with the Terra card, you do have some waiting time before you, you know, you have to go through the KYC process. You have to get your card shipped. Um, and then once it's in your hands, activate it, then you can load it. And then it's instantly available for either cash out at the ATM, or you can go ahead and spend it at retailers worldwide. So, yeah, um, we're starting to see some, I think, real traction in that direction. I know that um, Atlas has been doing a lot of business development work um, with our um, some of our channel partners in the background, uh, two different large, large groups and uh, working, you know, on different various uh, card programs and just trying to enhance the product as much as we can to offer more. Um, so a lot of that work's been going on in the background. He spends quite a bit of his time doing that as well as uh, working on the quant. So yeah, we're in a holding pattern, still waiting for the official kickoff of the Binance API. Um, Atlas has been doing the work in the background also on getting that corporate account set up and making sure that's all ready and, and uh, tested and, and ready to go into production. But uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that um, getting kicked off here ASAP. Uh, we know the time's ticking to 10x in 10 months. Um, uh, but the results we have been seeing, uh, we've kind of mentioned before, uh, with our our uh, personal funds and um, you know some of the uh, treasury allocation, we have been testing that, and uh, the performance results have been you know off the charts. So uh, we're still highly confident in delivering um, even before that ten month period. But uh, we do need to uh, get that going and uh, and have that available for the community fund as well. So um, looking forward to that, and um, teams are working hard to get that in place and and uh, make sure that that's a success. Uh, on the privacy product side, we've just, you know, been cranking away. Uh, we are going to update our test net one more time and have a walkthrough before the beta testing starts. Uh, we have several key milestones that we've been working on the last couple of weeks. Uh, one being our production environment set up. Uh, we did get that uh, account set up and we are getting the production servers in place to move the code over. And so our test environment will then be in our final production environment. So all will be as uh, we have it during the launch and from an infrastructure standpoint. Um, and then also we've been working uh, the last week or so has been heavily focused on the DVPN, which is our decentralized VPN product. And uh, we're just getting the live network set up. We were on a test network uh, previously, uh, but we're getting the live network set up. And once that goes live, that will be pushed to the test net and uh, with a few more tweaks that we had um, sort of in our, our change log. And uh, then we'll have a, um, a product, I think, that we'll be able to go to beta with. So uh, still on track to do beta this month. Uh, we can get that production server set up, get these final tweaks on the VPN, uh, take one more walk through the test net, and then uh, we'll, we'll do a small release to a small group of beta testers uh, just to start the process. We're really going to we're probably going to stay in beta, I think, for at least a month. Um, we do have to still set up our web store. We have our admin panel and reporting system that we need to create um, so that in the background we can see what's really going on uh, with the application. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts and, you know, things that are related to um, our cost structure and, you know, how we manage uh, our bandwidth and load, load balancing and all that kind of stuff. From an infrastructure standpoint, we need to make sure that we're ready to scale. Um, so we'll be collecting some of that data during beta testing, but then, um, you know, also be prepared for that uh, during the launch with uh, more sophisticated backend tools that we can really look at our network and be able to understand what's happening uh, with our end users and where there are bottlenecks, we can free those up. So we're really gearing this up, you know, this is a professional application. This is something we're taking to uh, large groups um, out of the gates. Uh, we do have some strategic partnerships that we're looking into and, and hopefully we can sign up um, right away uh, that will give us, um, you know, a, a nice uh, large user base that we can 
then scale from, but use as a, a great test bed as well. Um, Cause you know, you're not going to catch everything during beta. Um, we're hoping to have, you know, a, a very highly polished finished product to take to the public, but uh, you know, there's, there's always room for improvements, tweaks, improvements, things that we haven't discovered, um, but we hope to get a nice test group uh, so that we can, you know, capture as many of those possible bug fixes and little tweaks and stuff to the UI as possible before we released it to the public. But um, you know, I think we couldn't be happier with the progress so far. The team's been working extremely hard. Uh, we have had several updates um, on the even the email system, the password manager that have come through our test net already, um, and just our testing that we're doing internally, little tweaks and modifications, things that um, we think can enhance and make the user experience much better. So that's kind of where we're at. A lot of the back end. Uh, the system functionality and everything for all of the core applications, the email, the storage, uh, the password manager, as well as the VPN, uh, those are all finished. So now we're really just pushing everything to the front end, getting it on the production server and getting ready for beta. So if you haven't uh, DM me, if you are, are interested in becoming part of the beta group, uh, go ahead and DM me and I'll put you on the list. I do need your email address as we will send out a um, a private link uh, to your email uh, with login instructions for the beta testing, but um, we're looking the next one to two weeks to kick that off. So I think that's about it on the the privacy products. Um, things are going really well, and uh, we're we're excited. Uh, we will have. I think we're probably gonna. Uh, I think from our initial timeline, we were talking about the end of Q1, kind of you know doing a soft launch or at least the beta launch. We're on track to do that this month. Um, but I think we're going to spend at least one month of good, solid testing um, in through April to make sure that um, we have everything ready before we, um, you know, accept any kind of subscriptions or do a public, you know, a, a, a hard launch. So I think that's kind of where we're at and where we're thinking now is that we want to make sure we got this thing battle tested and and uh, put our best foot forward when we go to the public launch and, uh, you know, have people actually signing up and, you know, sending payments and, and doing all that good stuff. So, yeah, I think uh, I think that about wraps it up for the privacy stuff, quant, uh, and the air and tarot cards looking uh, nice with the uh, the activity on that end and, you know, real world applications, um, you know, contributing to the revenue of the project. Let's go. I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, I, know, I know a lot of people too are definitely looking forward to uh, having that, Nice little, nice little boost on the legacy NFT revenue. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're getting really close. Um, you know, if we can get one of these large groups um, interested in uh, pushing, I know that there's been one large group, the one that we've talked about before, with 350,000 representatives. Uh, they've been testing the product, so um, uh, specifically the Air Card, and if we can get that. Uh, going in a much larger fashion um, and, and that's you know made public to their organization right now it's been in kind of a test uh, test mode um, but I think the confidence is there and now we're ready to roll that out if we can get those numbers up man we can really uh, as things start to make an impact on the rewards pool for the NFTs definitely and they're lifetime paying machines like there's no max payout on them if art continues to print then those legacy NFTs will continue to print for generations, generational wealth, yeah. true generational wealth. Well, if all goes well with the uh, the bull run, well, you know, the world will need to off ramp trillions of dollars in crypto. So <laughs> we'll, we'll that's true. A, a tiny amount. <laughs> we don't need. We're not exactly. asking for all. Yeah. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. And do remember, guys, like even if you don't have any of the tarot cards, you don't have an air card. Um, you can still take advantage of the referral program. We ha do have a really awesome referral program for the tarot card. Uh, it's like a two a tier two tier program. So meaning, if you go out and refer someone, say you go refer a big YouTuber, and you say, "Hey, man, like we got this awesome off ramp, cool cards, custom metal cards. You can put your custom image on the card and everything." You sign them up. They get the tarot card. They make a video about the tarot card, and you know push their referral link, you're actually going to get um, a, a piece of that pie. You're going to get a piece of all of those cards that get referred under the person that you referred. So it's a two-tier system. Not only do you get paid per card that is created, but you also get paid a percentage of all the loads on those cards. So 
definitely some serious passive income to be made. And again, you don't even need to have a card to promote it. So if you're looking for some extra ways to make some cash in the bull run, like Brett said, there's going to be trillions of dollars looking to be off rent. And uh, this is definitely one of the best ways, one of the most seamless ways. And uh, also the one of stylish ways to spend your crypto, get those gold metal cards. Um, but I think that's about it for today. Do make sure to get your legacy NFTs. If you're sitting on a mint credit, don't remember, to, don't forget to mint your tier one NFT. I know we're over half on uh, tier one sold. So don't miss out. Those uh, copper tier ones will definitely be worth a lot more than say the tier four, five, six coppers. Because remember, even if you have a copper tier one, as long as the NFTs are not sold out, the whole $6 million pool, you will be able to upgrade that copper legacy NFT, that tier one, to a gold, to a silver, to a platinum, to whatever you want, and it will still remain tier one. So there's definitely going to be some uh, some gamified selling, especially when we sell out all the $6 million in NFTs. It be interesting to see the price differences of a tier one copper versus a tier six. No financial advice, but I'm just saying, that's definitely uh, definitely a lot of uh, extra money to be had in those boosts. So that about wraps it up for today. Stick around for some Q&A. We'll see everyone next week, next Thursday, uh, 2 p.m. EST, 6 p.m. UTC. Uh, the time change for Europe will end not on the next week, but the week after. So April 5th, I believe the Europe time change is March 31st. So if you're in the Europe, it'll be an hour earlier than it normally is same time as today though so we will see everyone next week hope you have a great weekend take care everyone goodbye